Hello again. This is part two of Matthew 24 and Luke 21. The first part was on the signs, and this part is on the sign. And the signs that will precede the Lord's return. Yes, signs. In Revelation 12, 1, there, the first sign that I want to talk to you about is a sign in the, in the uh, planets and the stars. And it, it describes the very event that we saw uh, in the year 2017. And the Virgo and uh, Leo and the woman that has the 12 stars in her head, the sun on her shoulder and the moon at her feet was a perfect example of that kind of a sign. But there's one coming in the future. No one will miss a great sign in the heavens. The second sign that is to be looked for at that time is Satan himself and his angels in the sky. That's told to us also in Revelation 12. He will appear. Watch out for that one. Don't think it's Messiah. The third sign will be the whole cosmos will be shaken. And the inhabitants of the earth will be so terrified, horrified, fearful, and will mourn because they're frightened about what is coming next. What's coming next is the sign before the sign of the Son of Man coming. Two more signs. The sign itself, what could it be? Many of the scholars believe that it's the Shekinah glory which will light up the whole universe. You know, the universe will be thrown into darkness. Darkness that even kills. Darkness you can feel. And our Lord says, I am the light of the world. He himself is the Shekinah glory. He himself is the glory. We saw a glimpse of it at Tabernacles, didn't we? Not Tabernacles, Transfiguration. He allowed his glory to show. But I would like to present to you one more thought. Could it be that the star of Bethlehem will be back? Question mark, question mark. Preceding his coming, preceding his announcement of his coming was what? The star in Bethlehem. That star we call it the star of Bethlehem. But it came and it followed, it rose up, it went down, it disappeared, came back, and it was terrifying to behold. Great brightness, nothing like what's in our heavens. Prior to his birth, signs in the heavens. Could we not see that same event preceding his actual coming? I personally think that's what it will be. And, I, and it's very interesting that Numbers, I did a whole video on this, but uh, Numbers talks about he himself is the sign. Yes. He did. He led them. He led the, the, uh, the uh, wise men. He led Israel out of the wilderness in the presence of the glory of God. He led the wise men to the correct place to see and to find him. He will lead the Jews, and he did in 70 AD. He told them to depart, and he would have led them out of there the night before the temple fell. And he will lead them again out into the wilderness. So why not? Great God with great miraculous powers. Great signs in the heavens. No, not little signs. Great signs will be there. Yeah. And then the final sign is he himself will rent the heavens, light up the earth, and descend to planet earth. The sign of the Son of Man 
Is it the Shekinah glory? He, he himself was the Shekinah glory. God himself. The star of Bethlehem. He himself. Preceding his actual return. Think on these things. Signs of his coming. The kingdom is near. Come, Lord Emmanuel. God with us here.